Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you 16 March on a Monday. Pretty tired. Uh, obviously up last night at the open. Let's just go over uh, what the hell happened here. Um, a lot happened, right? Fed cut uh, to zero, which was crazy. Uh, so that was uh, that was cutting to zero and adding 700 billion of um, 700 billion of QE. They did that just before the open stocks surprised a lot of us. Uh, Euro was Euro was 110. Uh, 110 sort of 7808 so it was about 30 points wide so if you're quick you could snatch some euros there the dollar swiss was around 95 9510 um also the um, boj raised etf annual purchases to 12 trillion uh, they maintained the target yield of JGBs at zero. Introduced a new lending program. They raised their uh, JREIT target, which is a real estate, um, you know, support system, 180 billion yen. Monitoring, yada, yada, yada. All the other central banks also chipped in to help with dollar liquidity so it was like a global uh, rescue package and what happened stocks uh, opened and our limit down um, my eyes don't deceive me I guess there's 8,000 con contracts on the offer on the June 25 55 50 if you're still trading in the march it's 25 67 there's a good 6,000 contracts there so there's 14,000 contracts waiting to smash this um so looks like we're probably heading lower so what do you do with all of this um you want to be uh core short dollars we think uh it's been a bit stubborn especially with the boj action so let's look at dollar yen um all the way up to 107.58 uh, back down to uh, 106.22 now I guess we've just hit the skids a little bit here um, last 10 minutes down 30 ticks the low has been 105.73 which which kind of if you remember uh, on Friday buying up through 106 we went to 106.25 and the low uh, was 75 so this is actually an interesting little technical point here this 105.75 you can add to your shorts through 105.75 dollar swiss same but less fall i don't know somehow we we ended up going up to 95.26 seems a bit silly now we're heading back down again uh 94.74 uh we're short dollar Swiss gold. We had uh, a sixty dollar gap. I think we paid sixty uh, sixes at the open. Then we traded around. We just been trading this thing. Look at that, my God! Twenty three the low, slut. Um, We've been trading around this. We have a pretty decent average. Uh, it's not doing what we needed it to do, uh, but we are still we still maintain long gold for now. We think certainly the big European shops who were just spectators last night and waiting for better liquidity uh, are going to come in and buy gold today at the European Open. Excuse me while I drink my coffee. Um, kind of old old and tired that's what happens when you're 50 uh, what else is there euro same same type deal uh, we went up to 111.90 looks like we were back down to 110.85 which again doesn't really make a lot of sense except for the fact there's just no liquidity so any of the early guys who left tight stops they got done 
um, even though it was the right position. So it's tricky out there, right? You, you not only have to be right directionally, uh, but you have to time it right. So I think uh, the table is going to be set at the European Open this morning. Uh, dollars are when we cut, we tra we got trashed down to 1605 and then we got trashed the other way back up to 1640 dollars are is going to go to 20 um i'm really really negative on the global economy global lockdown uh future bankruptcies of weak companies which will lead to layoffs which will lead to sadness uh, and then which will lead to anger um and this kind of series of events uh, normally leads to something a little bit worse than a recession. We almost went into it in great financial crisis. You saw the uh, you know, Wall Street protests and people got very angry. But somehow uh, the anger was quelled. Uh, I think we're heading in that direction again this, uh, this time. And so uh, you don't want to buy these weak emerging market currencies. You want to be short Turkey, short Tsar. Probably short max. Um, let's look at oil. 3069 on its knees. Uh, really surprising we could not bounce uh, with that global package. The point of this is no one is doing anything, so the demand for oil is just screwed. Um, this will be the um, this will be the most interesting. Canary, if we get out of this. So, the first thing that's going to fix itself is the price of oil. And if the price of oil does fix itself, and we all, you can just use 36.28 as the barometer here. If oil does fix itself, then um, we could be on to something. And of course, even though I'm like, you know, Donnie depressed right now about the global economy, if there's a vaccine, bang all better uh, but we need a vaccine within a certain amount of time so there's this time element here that worries me uh, if we get a vaccine in, in, in the next three to six months I think uh, we might be okay but there the world just can't cope with a 70% lack of um, production, which means a 72% lack of revenue for six months. People, humans, people don't have six or seven months worth of savings in their bank account to pay for themselves, uh, which is sad, but a reality. Um, but also, more importantly, businesses, there are a lot of businesses out there, you'll be surprised, who also do not have this rainy day money um, and even more like s sick is what have they been doing? They've been buying, they've been spending their money on buybacks and stuff. I mean, it's the story. You can, you can't make it up. It's just, it's awful. Uh, so we, um, if you're religious, go ahead, pray for vaccine. And if you're not religious, also, uh, hope for vaccine because, um, the alternative is not, is not that pretty. Anyway, I've said enough. This isn't a philosophy channel. This is um, this is just economics and trading. Short dollars. Pick your poison. Is it dollar yen? Is it dollar Swiss? Uh, are you long euro dollar or are you long gold? We're short dollars, uh, and sell stocks on any rally. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.